Each year, Harvester says it sees an increased need for food donations. I'm Abby Dodge with KSHB 41 News inside of H&R Block's downtown corporate offices. Every year, they have a donation drive and turn those donations into mini golf courses. That's a putt to hand hunger right there. The employees of H&R Block okay. look forward to this fundraiser every year. Competition is fierce. Oh. But the cause is even better. For folks that um, might need a little extra help this year, it's been a tough year for some. We want to make sure that we're giving back and doing our part. During KSHB 41's Fill the Fridge campaign, we told you about the nationwide need. An Olathe resident told anchor Lindsay Shively it was her first time at the food pantry. It's stressful, big time, especially, you know, bills are going, I mean, rent's going up, everything's going up. Harvester's community engagement manager Kristen Fairbanks says issues persist even post-pandemic. The food insecurity rate does not seem to be going down at all. It just is continually increasing. It's even greater than it was during the pandemic. Harvester says there are more than 340,000 food insecure people in our area. Last year, they distributed more than 60 million pounds of food. H&R Block dropped off more than 4,000 pounds after last year's event. Fairbanks says donations of all sizes are welcome. Everybody um, can make a difference with as much or as little as they're able to contribute. One dollar or donation can make a meal for someone in need. Abby Dodge, KSHB 41 News.